Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to sort folders by size or month in Windows 11's File Explorer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is select the Sort button, select More, and then select Size if you want to sort by largest to smallest. Alternatively, if you have the column over here, you can just left-click on the size column, and that'll either change it to ascending or descending order, depending on which time you click the size button. Now, if you want to search folders by month, you first need to make sure you have the date modified column. And if you don't see it in here, just right-click on the top bar, anywhere really, and make sure date modified is checkmarked. And now you have Day Modified. If you click on Day Modified, you can either sort again in ascending or descending order. If there's a specific month you want to search files for in here, you can click the little drop-down arrow that corresponds to Day Modified over here on the right. And then you can select a date range you want to search for these files. So again, you can just type that in or just click it like you would a normal calendar. Basically has the Windows 7 calendar theme, which I always found kind of interesting. And you see the results should update in real time. So then you can go ahead and make a selection here of different periods of time you want to look for. So you can just select the month. And then you can see it'll search it up here in a more specified time period. And you can just click the back arrow to go out of that. So for example, you can see we have May 2022. I click inside the drop down here. And I go to May of 2022. You see that it will then pull up the files that relate to that time period. So pretty straightforward process, guys. Do a positive to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.